Already so I, I, I finally started The Last Dance. How do you like it? It's great. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. I'm surprised it took this long for that type of documentary with all the 30 for 30s they've done and, you know, Netflix being on a roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess say say a shout out to my man uh, Caesar, who just said the court just now paid the speeding ticket for Switzerland. Of course, <laughs> I, got, I got this. I got this. <laughs> All of a sudden, blink, blink. You see the light. Oh shit! <laughs> like two, like ten they got. They got. I still haven't paid my speeding ticket, so I might not be allowed in Switzerland. But court, listen to me. Court. Shout out to shout out to G dot. We were playing uh, Connect the Dots yeah. joint right before yeah, you guys. Another G dot man. That's my dude. You might not recognize me, man. I went into hibernation, like, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. So, so the, Caesar, this is a true story. Is like, yo, guys, you can use my car. This guy is the best, uh, the coolest human on earth. Our DJ who came to Greece with us. That's a whole other story. And he's like, yo, you can use my car. You can stay at my place. You know, I've just never gotten a ticket. Please don't get a ticket in the car. Cool. It's like I got this. It's nothing. Meanwhile, he's giving the car. To Core, who has like ten tickets in Europe, and he's, <laughs> and he's ne he doesn't live there, guys. He doesn't live there. He's Core. Core was banned from renting cars in Europe for like two years, Doug. I don't know if you, if you knew this, Doug. All right. Yeah, I knew this. Dorf, but somewhere he's like, oh, some some place that sounds like it's in Harry Potter. He's like, and all of a sudden I see my picture being taken. I'm like, wheels. <laughs> you know, show us the app rock, man. I've known him forever, man. Yo, we connected on this track um, with my man Nutso. Show us to Nutso. And, and he's, he's been doing promo ever since. What a great guy, you know. Except every time I come to Germany, I don't see you. So let's make sure we see each other next time I'm in Germany. You know, he's like a phantom of the opera. Yeah, shout to out to Brutal Caesar. Brutal Caesar, man. Yo, nobody sends more beats than Brutal Caesar, man. You know, dope shit, too. So what have you been binging? Obviously, you're caught up with uh, Last Dance. What else Last you got? Last Dance is the only, I'm not, I, I don't know why, just because I've, I've been doing the, the production stuff, which we can talk about, but I, I, I haven't watched as, uh, as many shows. I'm just reading the comments. I haven't watched as many shows, honest to God. Uh, but Last Dance, Last Dance, that's what I've been really watching, man. And uh, I love it. I love it. It takes me back. It's, it's great. My only complaint, and I don't want to be like, I hate it. My only complaint is like, I felt as it went on, it started to cater to Jordan a little bit because he has control over like what's being said and stuff. Not to say, I just meant that it is, it is going to make him look good always. It does make him look, I, again, it's been fantastic. It's great. But I, I, now I can see his control a little bit, you know? So, because we never know. The gambling part is really weird a part of that show, Doug. We never know. With his father's death, that's a really weird death too, man. You know, his, his, his leaving for a little bit and then coming back. It's just a lot of stuff that, we don't know, you know? Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, the gambling thing is a whole other aspect that I haven't – I don't know what they've, uh, what they've shown in the documentary yet. Like I said, I only watched the first one. But if it's, if it's pointed away from Jordan, I can only imagine they, they don't brush up against it too much. It, um, I, how much in depth do they get into the gambling? You, you got to watch it. So it's, it's great, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to, you got to be in control of that level. And 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 I'm and I'm not like it, 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 some parts of it feels like a um, support piece for Jordan, you know. And like I like documentaries that like, like they're like, oh, he could be a professional baseball player. And I'm not, I'm not fully doubting that, but I'm just saying, ah, you know, like this. He has a lot of. I want them to show, um, you know, every what has been saying. They murked him over gamble. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I feel too. But they're not gonna say that, you know. I want them to show all the dirt. That's all. And they're never going to do that with Jordan's level, you know? Yeah, I mean, not if he's controlling what's being released. I mean, does he? did he own all that media? See, did he, like, produce it? Rev, Rev, he, I think he, he controls the final say on everything. That's for sure. They approached him. So what I what I heard was they started taping back um, in 97. Uh, Aprock, the Phantom. Yeah, Aprock, every time I'm there, every time, <laughs> every time Rock will hit you up. <laughs> Shout us to Rockwell. Oh man, we got some funny stuff. We gotta joke around with Rockwell. Shout us to Rockwell. Now that's my dog. People love that song. Yo, shout us to Primo for spinning the track with Rockwell and I so many times, Doug. That's really dope. 
you know? Yeah. But but they started taping in 97 on the last season. And all that stuff has been sitting for 20 years. You know what I'm saying? And then they've been working on the backstories. You know, they weren't there on all the other ones. They've been getting footage from that other stuff. But 97, they were behind the scenes. Yeah, I also yeah. Think, uh, I also think that um, – what's his name? Uh, Kraus is getting a bad rep, which he shouldn't. He built that dynasty. And he's dead, too. He can't defend himself. So oh, see, I didn't really, know that. Okay. They're really giving it to Kraus, you know? Yo, Clay. Okay, so Netflix producer, the final say – Netflix, but he, yeah, he had the final say. But, um, yo, listen, listen, listen. Clay. Netflix in, or ESPN? What is it? Uh, ESPN and Netflix, because it's Netflix okay. Europe. It's Netflix Europe. Oh, that's right. That's right. So okay. That first. That's why we're able to stream it right away. All right, so listen. This is Clay. Tell him about the Hot Wheels. You know? <laughs> we're driving, and Mr. Clean is in the car. It's me. Mr. Clean, who's like our manager back in the day, our homie. Rev, was Rev there? Rev Core. Um, Tyson, who shot Remorseless, the video. Uh, who, who else is there? Clay. Um, Super Dave. Super Dave, DJ Night and Day. Desco was there. Uh, I'm going to see who else. Yeah, Hot Wheels. So we're driving the van, and, and um, you know, Clean, we're going, we have a show in Vermont. And the whole time, Mr. Clean's like, yo, I got this brand new, uh, I got these brand new brakes, you know, this car's going to be perfect for the trip, blah, blah. We got a show for like 4,000 people. It's at a college with us and Kid Cudi, and it's us and Kid Cudi, that's it. And it's, it's 4,000, it's it, incredible show, man. But we, before we can get to the show, we're, we're driving to Vermont, and halfway through the trip, I, yo, the car is on fire, Doug. Like, and, and he's like, Hot Wheels, the car is lit. <laughs> The wheels are on fire. We had to pull over at a gas station. Yo, the brakes, dog. But yeah, that that's uh that's a that's a that's that's amazing. Every time I, I see Clay, I think of that. But we made it to the show. We survived. What did we end up doing, dog? Did we did we take or did we get like did we jump in another whip to get to the show? I forget. But yeah, that was a long time ago. 2010, 10 years ago. Wow. The brakes were on fire. Hot wheels. That, yeah, hap that happened crazy. to me once. It was super dangerous. My story isn't as good, but I would I would have hoped you would have gotten another vehicle. Yeah, I think we might have drove that. I think <laughs> it might have up. We might have drove the, the van, Doug. Shout out to Kane. Yo, um, yeah, man. But, uh, but Desco sold all my CDs after the show. All my CDs. Desco was the original hustler before we had been strangling people in the crowd. <laughs> You know, so yeah, I think we cooled off the tires at a gas station, and then we just drove, you know, onto onto the show. Oh, yo, M dot wants freestyled to strangers to get me home. Shout out to Slicko. That's a true story. That's a dope story. <laughs> this is back when people cared about that stuff, probably over ten years ago. You know. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to uh, Kawabanga in Sweden. That's my he dude. Was, he was asking when M dot was coming back to Sweden. Hopefully soon. Sweden's like the place we've done the most out of anywhere. And it's crazy because it's in the most obscure cities and towns all over the place. But um, I love Sweden. Sweden's dope. Yeah, man. Anytime. I'd love to come back. Shout out to my homie prop, Dylan. You know? Um, but yeah, dude. Watson. Yo, you getting engaged, dog? Am I invited to that wedding, dog? What's good? <laughs> Core's know? going. Is the... <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know yet. And Core's going. <laughs> yeah. Shout so, out to B-Leafs. Oh, man. b Leaves. What did he produce, Mike? Reaganomics. Reaganomics. Large Professor, uh, Razcast, and uh, Elzai. And, and myself, Shout out to b Leaves. Fantastic song. You know? He's produced a bunch of stuff. We actually got some stuff in the works, too. You know? Core tour. I can't get over it, dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 